So the Biden administration is changing course on the new infrastructure package. And some of you may qualify to receive a bonus payment from the IRS. Where, uh, whether it was dual eligible, it's not to get too technical about it, but uh, uh, giving the secretary the ability to negotiate for lower prices for farm, farm, farm pharmaceuticals as a cost savings. That's not a benefit cut, it's a cost savings uh, to Medicare. And if that were to be part of a global grand plan, we want assurances that that money would be poured back into Medicare, not to subsidize a tax cut uh, for the wealthiest person in America and to say we're reducing the deficit. So it's that uh, kind of thing. I think members can make distinctions, obviously. Now that most $1,400 third stimulus checks have been sent out, the voices calling for at least one more direct payment is getting louder by the day. In the more than two months since Congress approved the last round of checks, Support has been building among lawmakers and members of the public for the relief to continue for as long as the crisis lasts. The newest push comes from members of a powerful congressional committee who say workers and families still struggling to cover debts, food bills, and housing costs will be helped by fourth and even fifth payments. But data that was just released shows critics questioning the need for more cash aid. It shows over a million of last year's first stimulus checks never got spent. And letters urging President Biden to support additional direct payments have now been signed by more than 80 lawmakers in Congress. In the latest are seven members of the influential House and Ways Committee. The House and Ways Means Committee takes a lead role over taxation and government budgeting. But it was concern over household budgets that prompted the committee members to pen a letter to Biden in recent days. The lawmakers say that most people have been spending the relief checks on basics like food, utilities, rent, and mortgage payments. The letter says, families and workers shouldn't have to worry about whether they have enough money to pay for essentials in the months ahead. And that comes as unemployed Americans are urging lawmakers to pass another fourth stimulus bill. What are your thoughts on this, everybody? Do our politicians in Congress need to pass a fourth stimulus bill and a fourth stimulus check? Tell me your thoughts on this in the comments below. And folks, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. On this channel, I always provide you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. It means a lot to me if you guys can subscribe to my channel. So long, we kind of take it for granted. So let me say a word about Social Security. When so head of the civil rights, or, or, or actually as, a, as assistant attorney general um, for civil rights. Okay, now, the Senate, we continue to work on the innovation um, and uh, Competition Act. And this legislation, as you know, will lay the foundation for the next century of American economic leadership. It's really vital to the future of our country. It'll allow the United States to outcompete countries like China. It'll create millions of good paying American jobs. It will help improve our country's economic and national security. And we're finally taking action to correct the decades old underfunding in science and technology. And that has imperiled America's global economic leadership. The bill is the product of at least half a dozen Senate committees working for months, all in a bipartisan way. Social Security was developed in the 30s. Its goal was to cut down on senior poverty. And when it was developed, 50% of seniors lived in poverty. Today, poverty among seniors is too high, but that number is 10%. Social now, according to multiple sources, early tax filers may get a treat this year. If you filed a tax for 2020, you could be getting one of the bonus checks or plus the payments, and as well as for those who've run out of the regular state benefits. Now, four other states, including Ohio and Arizona, are also keeping these programs until they expire in early September. But 19 states are terminating them, along with extra $300 weekly payments, which will strip roughly 2.1 million out-of-work Americans of all the unemployment compensation. But over the past three weeks, a succession of Republican governors have opted to terminate one or more of the programs containing the historic federal expansion of the unemployment system. They have cited the improving economy and the inability of employers in their states to find workers as the reasons behind the decisions. And the crisis programs are scheduled to end in early September, and the states are continuing them 